Hello and welcome to a new video about augmented reality. This time we want to use something that we can control an augmented reality with our 3D headset, with our HoloLens. Well, there is no touch interface or something like this, yeah? So I have to control this with the help of movements of my hands. Yeah? So some gestures simply had to be used to to make this. Okay? So and those gestures yeah, they can be a lot of can be a lot of things, yeah. Imagine sitting in front of the stereo want to tune the bass a little bit up oh, this is the gesture to tune the bass and maybe down hi heads up <laughs> I, know. I know how this looks yeah get used to it it's the future <laughs> gestures simply do something yeah with your hands before your studio yeah, or for a few app on, on our HoloLens does support some standard gestures yeah? and it's not <coughs> nah. it's tap okay that's a tap yeah. uh, the standard gestures are then swipes and basically taps okay so double tap is double click, double tap yeah. then there is a hold hold yeah. and then there is a swipe left Tick. from your perspective it looks right yeah okay so swipe left Pick. this was a swipe left swipe right The sound effects are optional. <laughs> swipe up, tick. swipe down, tick. and then there is also swipe backward and swipe forward. So swipe forward, tick. swipe backward, tick. okay so these are the gestures uh, we can use in Vuforia Studio. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to use our crane uh, and if we make a double tap it shall be in the middle position. Uh, if we make a swipe left it shall turn to the left. If we make a swipe right it should turn to the right. Uh, one step let's make it 10 degree yeah then we can turn the crane how we like it okay this we want to do yeah so this is this is our user interface we are opening the project okay open the project takes a while there is the crane from last time. Yeah. Here it is. There's the crane. And as we did it also in the previous example, we are going to use application parameters. Yeah. So we will use an application parameter which is called application parameter rotation angle. Rotation angle. Add. This is standard value of minus 90 degree. Yeah, and we are binding this value to our arm. Yeah. And I did not hit to our arm. Yeah. And it's the Y rotation, I think it was. Right? Click minus 90. Yeah, Y rotation. Okay, now we have to somehow distinguish what should happen with our gestures and here they are yeah this is what this this application events are 
Yeah. So you see, double tap, hold, stop, scan, swipe back, swipe forward, swipe left, swipe right, swipe up. Swipe up, swipe, swipe, swipe. <laughs> We're using swipe left, swipe right, and double tap. Okay. Double tap. We can enter here the JavaScript file. In last example, we have used to just call a function in, in grain JavaScript file. We could do this here also. However, we can directly write in here something. Yeah? So we can write app. This time we don't need to use a scope yeah? because we are already in scope from this point of view. Yeah? So this is a, there's a little bit different. In JavaScript we are outside the scope and we have to access this with dollar scope dot and so on. Here we can directly start with app. Yeah? It's a different namespace. App params and now last time we did it like that huh? ap rotation angle huh? this is how we can do it and if you have a double tap it shall be minus 90 okay this is this is Google Chrome, you see, it tries, it is, this is not a German word, it's right, because it's JavaScript, yeah, so this is why these red lines are, and it's, mm, alright, that's, it's alright, it's alright, yeah. what I have to do, where I swipe left, yeah, I will use app params, and now I show you a second variant of how to access this app rotation, I can simply App, app, AP, application parameter, rotation angle. So the name. This is shall be pretty much the same result. And if I write it correct, angle. Yeah? And what shall be with this rotation angle? We want swipe left, we want to add 10 degree. Yeah? This would be and at swipe right, JavaScript of course, yeah, we want to reduce 10 degree. Yeah. Now we do have those gestures implemented. Yeah. We have an application parameter, we're changing the application parameter with JavaScript commands assigned to the, to the gestures, to the events, yeah, application events. Mm, should do the trick. And this application parameter we bound to the correct value. Let's save this. Yeah. Let's make a preview and see how this looks like. Yeah. Of course, this is not working. Who shall ever recognize what I am to here? Yeah. No. <laughs> this is why we can issue those things here. Yeah. So we do a swipe left. Ooh, already happened something. Why is this? Swipe left. Swipe left. Mm, double tap. Okay, double tap is in the middle. Swipe right. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks nice. Swipe left. Now this also looks like what is happening? Double left, swipe left. It's working now. Yeah. But why was it not working before? Ah, maybe. Ah, we'll just try again. Yeah. You know, that's one definition of insanity. Try the same and expect a different result. Swipe left. Ooh, something. Something, something, something. Why is that happening? Why is that happening? Double tap, swipe left. Aha, uh -huh. now it's working again. Okay, so it seems like, it seems like there is an issue. Why is that? Well, you know, we have to look into the application parameter because right now we cannot tell it. So it would be interesting 
to know the application parameter which value does it have. Have? Does it have? Does it have? Yeah? Which value? Which value? I want to know the value, please. Okay? So I will close this preview. What we can do there is we can apply a 3D gauge. Yeah? Bug. Put it in here somewhere. Yeah? And this 3D gauge, I will bind the application parameter rotation angle to this and say it's the text. The text shall be the application shall be written in there. Bind. Yeah? Good. Now make a preview. Let's see what is happening. Yeah? Minus 90. Okay. Good. Look what is happening if you're moving around. Yeah? It's always facing towards us. This this gosh here. Okay. Swipe left. Minus 910. There is a hint what is happening. It's adding 10, but it's... Swipe left. Look, it's always adding 10. But as text, if I make a double tap, book, it's minus 90. So now, swipe left, minus 80. Okay, okay, okay. It seems like... JavaScript is not interpreting it correctly. This can happen in JavaScript, you know, because JavaScript does not support types. It just guesses the type. Most of the time it guesses right. However, right now it does not really guess right. Huh? It thinks it's a string, it's a, some characters, it simply minus 90 and if I add 10 it's minus 9 it's minus 9010. Zero, zero. Yeah. What to do? Yeah. Since we recognize that after double tap it's working good, so after double tap it seems to be it seems to be a, a numeric value. Yeah. Also for JavaScript. We could use this and load it at a certain position. Yeah. And here those things are have also here events yeah and there is model loaded and i will use this model loaded i will use exactly the same value application parameter rotation application parameter since like i would do a double tap okay as soon as soon as this model is loaded book i will apply a new value and then it shall be uh, it shall be a numeric value yeah the thing you've I've shown you before that this is always facing towards us. This is you can adjust it here with this billboard. Yeah? If I, I now will remove this billboard yeah? and I will make a preview again. Then you see it's looking flat. Okay. This is the billboard. And now let's try swipe left. Ah, now it's working immediately. You see? It's like we have done in Arduino. If you are not used or if you're not uh, sure what is going on, make an output. In, in Arduino we use there this uh, serial monitor. Here we can use something like a 3D gauche. Yeah? We will deal with 3D gauches. Uh, in upcoming videos. Yeah. So now it seems to work correct. However, what I don't like, if I make, if I make a swipe left, that it turns in this direction. So I will simply shift, swipe left and swipe right. I will remove this, this billboard, uh, 3D build, uh, the 3D gauche, I will remove it. I don't need it. And I will make here minus and here plus. This should look better, hopefully. Preview. Let's see. Swipe left. Ah, swipe right. Okay, double tap. Looking good. Huh? Let's start with swipe right, just to be sure. Huh? 
swipe right. Ah, this was also swipe left. Preview. I have a fast computer. I just want to show you how fast it is. <laughs> swipe right. Come. Ah, it's working. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I say we are ready. We are ready to make our publishing. Okay. So we publish. Again, I have to enter the username and the password, of course. Yeah. So username, password, publishing, published. Okay. Now, let's start this engine again. Okay. And try it. So now I'm starting again with a Studio here. Or for a few, of course. Uh, starting up. The experience service URL is set. And I'm going to just watch, scan this, this printed out uh, thing mark here. Okay. Loading experience 302467 underscore 3 amba underscore Peter Skopsky underscore hollow. Here again is my crane and I should be able to use Ah <laughs> Yeah Ah This gestures you must learn a little bit Uh, you have to put them in the right height. You see, it's there is room for improvement still. Ooh, ooh. Ah, would be nice. You see, you can move it. Double tap. In the middle. It's working. It's working. Let's move it to the left a little bit. Huh? You hear it, if it's working or not. Ah, maybe with the left hand? Or not? Yeah, you see, you have to get adapted a little bit. Huh? So this is st still already, or still the input. Yeah. However, if you're getting used to it, it's nice. But if you see this, if you see this, how this is looking like, yeah, you say, okay, but you don't even know that you could do gestures, you could do something like this, yeah, or try, at least try. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> there would be a little bit more information, would be nice, right? And this is exactly what we are going to do in the next video. That we will do a little bit online information. So that there is written something. Yeah? There is a button which I can press yeah? and see what is happening. This will be the next video. Yeah? For this time... Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.